everyone, what's up? It's me, Jackie. Welcome back to another video. So for this video, a very exciting one for you guys. Today, I'm actually going to be filming a video for the first time ever in my bathroom back at home in my hometown. I'm currently here for Christmas break. And since I am here for a longer time than the usual weekends that I spend here, I decided that I would actually take it upon myself to decorate something that I had I had the chance to do. That being said, we're going to go ahead and decorate out my bathroom today. This was recently built a couple months back. And if you recall back in my room tour of the room that I had, have back at home. I did have an empty little storage room that was going to the bathroom and officially we've got it done and it's literally perfect. So before we dive into decorating out this bathroom and organizing everything that needs to be organized, I'm actually going to show you guys a little overview of what the bathroom looks like right now because I haven't had the chance to actually show you guys. Right now, obviously, it's super basic. I don't really have much decoration going on at all. This is what the sink looks like. Definitely some room to mess around with. I also have to organize a little cabinet that's part of the sink just because down there it's super duper messy right now. And then for the toilet area, I do want to decorate up that area as well a little bit just because I feel like it's super bare. And then for the shower, I don't really have much to decorate for that just because right now I haven't really been showering in there just because we haven't put the water heater in yet so the water is super duper cold and then near the hamper area I do want to decorate that up a little bit as well and just make sure that we've got the whole place decked out aesthetically but not overwhelmingly so it's pretty much just an overview of what the bathroom looks like to actually decorate and organize I went to a couple stores to get a couple items that I would use for that process so I've got two humongous bags of things to show you guys from Target, Home Goods, and TJ Maxx. So let's actually go ahead and dive into the first store that we got things from, which is actually Target. The first thing that I got from Target was actually this basic little plant right here. I have plants of this mainly just going on my sink or something. It's not too big, not too small, literally perfect. It was five bucks too there. Besides that plant, I also decided to pick up this under the sink organizer. I'm hoping it's not too tall, but this right here is just a two-tier organizer with two dividers from Made Smart. And that's pretty much everything from Target. But let's go ahead and move into the couple items that I got from Home Goods. First up, I got this pack of towels right here. This from the brand Common Thread. I already have one hand towel right here, but it's actually one that I've been using for a while in the house. So it's definitely not the brightest white. So I decided to pick some up that were super bright and white because I feel like I definitely just want a lot of bright white colors in here. So I decided to pick these up. They're super, super soft as well. Also went ahead and picked up this little storage shelf right here. It's a size small. There's only like five bucks. So I was like, might as well. We're going to try to use it. This is actually in the kitchen area of home goods, but I thought it would be perfect nevertheless. I thought that I could stack maybe like some serums or my face wash or something on here. Next up, I decided to pick up this candle right here. It's just an aromatherapy stress relief candle in Magnolia and Bergamot. I thought this was just really aesthetically pleasing because it just has the black and white, obviously. And it smells really good. It does slide out, unfortunately, but it's for decoration mainly, so it's not that big of a problem. Next up, I decided to pick up another plant once again. This one is actually $14.99 though. And it's a little different from the other plant that I had shown you just because it is eucalyptus, well, fake eucalyptus. And then it comes in a little pot with a pot holder, which I thought was adorable. I thought this above the toilet would be really pretty, either on something I'm gonna show you later or just on top of the toilet in general. So this is really pretty. The last step from Home Goods, I got this organizer with phone stand from 88 Main. I thought this would be perfect on the sink counter to put in like my toothbrush and then, and this little organizer cup actually put in my brushes that I've been using, my serums and my lotion. So I thought those would be perfect right here. And then also this little phone stand is absolutely perfect because sometimes when I'm brushing my teeth or washing my hands or something I like to prop my phone up and like watch Netflix or YouTube so thought that would be perfect just for that and it's absolutely beautiful it has marble all over it so that's pretty much everything from home goods but now I'm gonna move on lastly into the couple things that I got from TJ Maxx from here I decided to pick up some wall decor so the first things of wall decor that I picked up were actually these beautiful canvas paintings you guys these are adorable I definitely want the thing to be just like black and white with pops of green so I thought that these were perfect I thought that this by my hamper or something would be super pretty. These were 20 bucks for both of them, so that is a score. The next step, I went ahead and picked up this super pretty little shelf right here. That this would be really nice over the toilet. So I could go ahead and just put like my little potted plant, a candle, and then use this bar right here to actually hang my face towel. Because right now, literally, my face towel has been hanging on the shower door. So I thought this would be really cute. And this is only 15 bucks. Next thing I picked up is something that I'm not sure I'm gonna use yet, but I got just in case. This right here is just a hair care caddy. Decided that it would be really cute to put like my curler, my straightener right here. Then last up from TJ Maxx and from this haul, I actually decided to pick up 
these two bath mats right here. It came with just a regular mat and then a bath rug right here. So super excited to set these out. I think these will fit, hopefully. These are from the brand Oasis and there's really pretty just white color. I know that white can get dirty super easily, but I just, I throw these into the wash often anyway. So that is pretty much everything that I got from this entire haul from those three stores. Super excited to organize. Hopefully everything works and fits. We can't find it out until we try it out. So let's go ahead and start out the organizing decorating process. I think I might start off with just organization first. So let's go ahead and head onto my sink area and just take a look at what we have to organize. Okay, first off, sorry for the super loud sound in here. When the overhead light is on, it does turn on the air thing also in the bathroom. I don't know what it's called exactly, but it turns that on. So it's a little loud. Sorry about that. But before we actually start decorating the top of the sink, we're going to save that for last because of course, first we have to just do some organizing and that's when we're just going to go ahead and just organize the bottom of the sink. It's a little bit of a mess. Before we actually start putting stuff in, we got to take stuff out. Let's go ahead and remove everything from the inside of the sink and then we'll go ahead and mess around with sizing. Now that everything is cleared out, I'm hoping I have enough room. I'm hoping everything fits, but I got these three intentionally to go in there. I know for sure that this fits. I tried it last night. I'm pretty sure it fits like this. That's so cute. It adds another level so I can go ahead and just stack stuff. So this is definitely going in. Perfect. Now for the big daddy right here. Um, I'm just hoping it's not too tall, you guys. Okay, so this is what we got it looking like. It's a bit of a tight squeeze. It's definitely too fat. <laughs> Let's see if I just do this. Then I have this old little organizer right here that I used for stuff. Okay, this looks a little bit better now. It's definitely a little crowded. I don't think I'm gonna keep this right now. We're gonna go ahead and try to organize this out and see how it goes. went ahead and organized the best that I could. You're not going to see all of the organization in detail just yet because I'm going to save that for my bathroom tour, but pretty much got this all set when organized and honestly, I think it looks super duper cute. It's officially done. Let's go ahead and move on to the other part of the sink and organize that little area, decorate it, make it look super cute. Now for this area, I've got a couple of things to add on to it. I've got this little organizer, this plant to add on as well, and these towels to replace this towel. So the easiest thing I'm going to go ahead and replace first is actually just going to be this towel. I literally washed it yesterday but it already just looks really off-white so by adding the new towel i'm gonna go ahead and make it just look so much whiter and brighter this comes in a pack of two but i'm only gonna be using one today just because i only have one little towel holder so i'm gonna go ahead and just fold this up and just place it right here i wish i had like a little accent towel it's kind of looking a little too big but honestly it worked now that i've got that sorted i'm gonna go ahead and organize up this counter they don't have that much counter space so i'm definitely gonna have to just switch things around to see how it looks best so for the organizer I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this front tag. Now I don't know exactly where I want to put this just yet. I think either over in this section or where the soap currently is and put that right here. So what we're gonna do is actually this. I'm gonna go ahead and put the organizer right here in this corner and then I'm going to grab my hand soap. This is just some hand soap from Bath and Body Works as well as this little plant here from Target and put them side by side right here. It definitely just adds some character to the space instead of it just being literally so plain. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my toothbrush and the brushes I want to put in there and just add them and make it look complete. Now let's get into organizing, decorating the area above the toilet. Literally is not much going on here besides the air freshener. So I definitely want to add this piece, this shelf right here above the toilet so I can add more decor and it can just add more definition to the room. We'll also have a place for my face towels because as you can see in the mirror, right over there, my face towel is literally just on my shower. So we're gonna go ahead and add this to the wall. My name's my dad's help, so let's go ahead and call him over. I go with my help my dad. He actually helped me find the stud in the wall so that this wouldn't fall if it was too heavy. So now we're gonna go ahead and decorate up the little shelf with my candle right here as well as this potted plant. So I think since we have a plant right here on the sink, I'm gonna put this one right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add this magnolia bergamot candle right next to it. Perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and actually add my towels on there as well, just because they've literally been on my shower and then pretty much done this little area. Next thing we're gonna do is pretty much just gonna organize the shower a little bit. Literally, there's nothing in there. All I have in here so 
bars pretty much. This shampoo and conditioner that I got from Target to restock basically what I'm using right now because I'm gonna run out of it soon. So I just got this moisturizing shampoo from Native Hair and Coconut and Vanilla. And then the Native Hair Volumizing Conditioner and Cucumber and Mint. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place these in the shower. Next area we're gonna be working on is actually the area by the hamper. Well, on top of it, because in the corner of the bathroom, I do have my hamper to collect all of my clothes. And so I do want to decorate the area a little bit above it just because it's super plain and white. So I'm going to go ahead and actually add these beautiful paintings on these canvases onto those areas. I'm going to go ahead and take these two and pretty much put it around here. Okay, what I think I'm going to do with these paintings is actually go ahead and put one here against this part of the wall. And then we'll go ahead and stagger this one with that and just put it more to the right. I'm gonna go ahead and choose which painting I wanna do. I think we're gonna go ahead and do this really pretty. I think it's eucalyptus, I'm not sure though. Perfect! Last thing we have to do is pretty much just add the bath mats in the bathroom on the floor. And we've got my bath rugs here from the brand Oasis from TJ Maxx. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually use these. And now that I got them out of the package, I'm gonna go ahead and sort them around and where I want them to go. So I'm thinking with the longer one, I'm thinking I'm gonna have this by my sink. And then for the shorter one right here, I think I'm probably just gonna put this right next to it kind of. Boom, perfect. With that, that pretty much wraps up my entire bathroom transformation video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me put everything into place and definitely turning this bathroom from super basic to super aesthetic. If you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below because next week I will be posting my bathroom tour so you can go ahead and see where I place every single thing, especially the area under my sink because I definitely went through a whole transformation. So subscribe to see that and turn on those post notifications so you can see when I do post that video. I post every single Friday. Follow my socials. I'm very active on those and I love interacting with you guys on there. Thank you all so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys in next week's video which will be the bathroom tour. Bye cuties!